What? What? That made no sense. Like, that was suddenly, like, see-through. That was insane. Oh, my God. That was crazy. All right, hey, guys. Nukes Plays here with part three of my El Dorado playthrough. Last time, we made it out of the city, and we got in a barrel and ended up on Cortez's ship. So, that's where we're going to join it this time. But first, we're going to have a little intro from our friends Tulio Miguel in their little wooden shack cabin thing. So here we go. With our barrel escape, we left our problems behind us. Or so we thought. When we got on board the ship, that was only the start of our adventures. As I was saying... Fine, don't mind me. I thought I was telling the story. What about my turn? If you really have to. We thought we were safe. Then the sailors discovered us. We pleaded, but they were difficult men, and it did no good. They imprisoned us in the brig. We could see no escape. The situation was desperate. But cometh the hour, cometh the man, so I began to hatch a plan. Hey, Tulio, that was very cute. Oh, it was nothing, just a little rhyming thing I threw together. There's a lot of money in poetry, you know. You should work on that. Voyage to the New World. <laughs> Who ordered the, uh... Pickles. Hear that? All I can hear is you pacing up and down. That's Altivo up there, Cortez's war horse. Hey, Altivo. Here, boy. Maybe he can get us out of here. And how on earth is he going to do that? He could throw the keys down. You know, Tulio, that might not be the dumbest idea you've ever had, but it's close. Okay, so here we go. I remember this being the absolute death of me as a kid. I don't think it's so bad now, because like I said, like last time I played it was like five years ago, and I don't think it was as excruciatingly painful for me Touch as it was when I was little. And dinner, it's got to last us until tomorrow. Trust me, I feel a plan coming on. But... It might not be smooth sailing, so I guess we'll just see how it goes. Are you just going to sit there all night? You got a better idea? Well, it just so happens... Now that you mention it... Uh, no. Uh, no. So there is, like, something to do with this mouse thing here. But I can't remember what it is. What do you think this is? I don't know. A rat hole? This is one heck of a big rat hole. Well, I guess it's one heck of a big rat. <laughs> <laughs> it made me jump, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> now that is funny. Made me jump, that's all. <laughs> Put that in there, and the rat will take your arm for dessert. What do you think I am, stupid? Yes. Oh, there's something here. What is that? Uh, wonder if there's anything useful down there. The bilge. Apart from bilge. The bilge. What is bilge, anyway? I don't know if I'm going to upload Resident Evil Revelations before or after this, but the bilge was one of my favorite bits from that. Well, actually, not even that part, but just saying it was fun. Bilge. That won't work. You guys can say it at home. Bilge! You see, it's fun. Bilge! This apple sure looks appetizing. Let's eat it. No, Miguel. It might be the last food we get on this voyage. So is there anything else we can look at? Okay, the mouse is out. Okay, now he just disappeared. He missed a bit where he's like banging his head on the thing. That's one of my favorite bits. Oh yeah, look, this looks cool. I can remember. Uh, 
Look at that. That's awesome. Huh. Easy. Hey, Altivo. Altivo. Here, boy. I've got a lovely apple, Altivo. Want it? Come on, boy. Get me the keys. <laughs> and you call me optimistic. Here, boy. Here's the apple. I don't believe you just did that. Trust me, Miguel. Ha! I told you it would work, Miguel! Miguel? It's kind of interesting that they did that because in the film, they ask for a pry bar and then instead he throws the keys down and then they escape. I've got to admit, a boat hook wasn't what I had in mind when I gave Altivo the apple. That horse certainly drives a hard bargain. But obviously in this one they have to make it more elaborate and you don't just get the keys, you have to like work your own way out. But now we have the pry bar and we can use it to hook down this ladder. Oh, boat hook. Okay, it's not pry bar, but... Whatever. Oh, I thought you missed it there. And I remember there's a monkey. And some keys. And that's about it. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. Let's have a look. Hmm, <laughs> monkey. I love monkeys. Hey, monkey! <laughs> Hey, monkey! Wake up! Maybe she only responds to her name. Mm. And it's different colored keys. Oh, I quite like that look. He's just like stuck there. And you can like pick different things to look at. I love that. That's great. If I could just reach those You have arms! There you go. I was going to say. Got him. Stop stealing my biscuits, Josephine. Want to end up like me? Oof, he's gone back to sleep. And now I know the monkey's name. Hey, Josephine. Josephine, shh, here, girl. Good girl, Josephine. Wanna play a game? Okay, here's how we play. It's so random. You hook the keys on the end of the boat hook. Oh! <laughs> we'll bribe it with biscuits. It always works. You, Josephine! I've got a lovely crunchy biscuit! Actually, they taste like sun-baked camel dung, but to a monkey, who knows? That's one of like the FBI's main tactics in getting into all their mobs, is using biscuits. Is, is that pink? Let's go with pink. I'll give you a biscuit, Josephine, if you fetch me the pink key. Okay, so I think there must be a way to like check what kind of key we need. So I'm gonna go and use these monkey bars. Which I don't know how that fat guy gets across to there. Good to see Miguel in the right place for once. At least I'll have something soft to land on if I fall. Wonderful technique. There's total upper body strength, not even using the, the legs to help him swing, that's incredible. Okay, so let's have a look. Locked. And it needs two keys. What color? Is that pink and yellow, it looks like, from here? That key fits! Oh, shit! I need to go and get another key. That was lucky. Okay, so the other one looks like red then. 
So it's definitely not green or blue. Pink was lucky. Lucky pink. Who doesn't love some pink, eh? All right, back over we go with the man mountain that is Tulio. If I fall, I'll have a nice soft landing on Miguel. Look at that. He may as well be a paraplegic with the amount of leg support he's given himself. Okay, so Josephine, we would like the red key. I've got more biscuits, Josephine. You can have one if you fetch me the red key. And then if this doesn't work, I guess it's just pick any random one. And just come back and give all the biscuits until we have all the keys, I guess. Thank you, Josephine. That key fits! Ha <laughs> ha! I've unlocked it! If, it was, if there had been a purple key, I would have gone for that, but it wasn't, so... Right, so this bit was a bit where I remember being totally scuppered. Because I remember my mum used to help me with some stuff. Right, there's a lantern there. If I put that in my pocket, I'd have uh, hot pants. Who knows, they might catch on. Clever. Look at that, that's like the fucking creepiest stealth thing I've ever seen, look at that. Imagine that, like, imagine waking up and that's lumbering towards you along the floor. Hey, how did you get out? Uh, parole? Any more lip, and I'll take you to Cortez. Come now, let's be friends and put the past behind us. Back to the hole with you, or I'll feed you to the sharks. Harsh. Can't we talk about this? Jump. I'm rich beyond your wildest dreams. Yeah, and I'm the captain. From your worst nightmares. Good one. Oh shit. You knocked me out, Tulio. And you threw away the apple. I'll think of another plan. Please, don't. Okay, maybe that was meant to happen. Alright, that's alright then. I just assumed that was like an animation that played when you failed. Why are you doing that? I'm thinking. Oh. Oh, he's doing the... Well, he's not really doing the headbutt thing, but he's doing the... the head against the, the plank thing. I like that. You ready for a big idea, Tulio? Go on, amaze me. That ladder has to be... Oh, why didn't I think of that? Then all we need is a key, a spare ship, and everyone to fall asleep for a day or two. I like that sass. Hey, Tulio, look at the... Leave me alone, I can't... Think harder, Tulio, harder. I'm crying. Harder! <laughs> what a bum Tulio, bum. You've done it. Tulio? Tulio? Look at Miguel's face there, good god. Maybe you ought to lay off the thinking for a while, old friend. Alright, so can Miguel look at that thing? I don't know what that thing is. In that like bottom left corner, what is that? Okay, we can open it. Oh no, we can't open it. I need something to prop it open. Okay. Say, Altivo, throw down something to prop up in this bilge cover. <laughs> what an idea Tulio had, thinking a horse could understand words. Pull yourself together, Miguel. The wind probably blew it down. I just realized, so fake Miguel in this game sounds a lot like... Darren Brown doing an impression. Why? Maybe you want to lay Why off. Why can't we pick it up? Do we have to crouch first? Just pick, pick it up. 
It's right there, dude. Are we at the wrong angle? For it? Why can't we pick it up? Dude. Dude. Can't flash for me. Come on. No. How, how is that like the closest thing to him that he goes to look at when it's fucking right by his feet? I like Miguel, you're my favourite. Use... Come on, don't be a dumb fuck. Come on. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, I guess for now we don't bother with that. I need to use... I know we do, but you're not doing it, so don't blame me. So for now we'll go back over here and see if we can have any better luck with that dude in the cannon room. Is that what they call it? I don't know. There you go, he's got more leg action. And to be fair, he looks like he's got better upper body strength, but I think that's just the big uh, padded top. There was no chance of getting past the sailor. Something to make me look like... What would make him look like one of the crew? Would a lantern make him look like one of the crew? The lamp would burn... Burn a hole in my trousers. I'd have blisters on my ass. Okay, bandana. I think that's what we're gonna go for. Okay, is that gonna be enough? Hey, you, fuck off. Hey, don't just stand around doing nothing. Sorry, force of habit. Cortez could do an inspection at any moment, and we need to get the cannon polished. Well, I just love to help you. They, but, they took me uh, off cannon polishing. They took me off cannon polishing. Said I made them too shiny. Just grab a rag and get on with it. Say, this is one shiny cannon. If it's that shiny, why do we have to shine it up more? Get polishing. I can't find a rag. Use my socks. Here. Ew. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that what like? Threw him. Hope they don't smell as bad as Tulio's. That's interesting. They smell each other's socks. I've learned something new today. Hey. You can have... Alright, so, I remember vaguely what we have to do. Hey, leave. Okay, maybe we actually polish it first then? It's something to do with setting a rag on fire. Pretty sure. Better do a bit of polishing while I think what to do. Wow, that's pathetic. That's more like it. You can have a biscuit and a swig of my rum ah, when there you're you go. done. Now we can get the rum. Can't wait. Can't wait. What a sarcastic fuck. Say. Why is that highlight? Why is it vibrating? Okay, here we go. Hmm. I might be able. Don't you go taking all of those biscuits. I've got enough problems with the rats stealing my food. I hate <gasps> oh, rats. rats. Horrible nice rat. things. Ooh, give me the heebie-jeebies they do. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, we just had it there. Maybe that's why we had to do other stuff before we got that down. So, it's making sense. Alright, that's flashing. So, use the boat hook. Hook. Hook, hook, whatever. <laughs> Dink. Hey, presto! And then now I've just got to figure out what to do with it. Biscuits. Okay, good. Because if that wasn't it, then I was like fucked. And then the rat will go in, and then we remove the boat hook. 
Beautiful. Ha <laughs> Can't get out of there now, my four-legged friend. And then... Use socks. He's doing it. Aha! Gotcha! Now I can give that sailor polishing the cannon a fright. Yeah. How dare he do his job as a pirate. Rat in sock. Is mightier than the sword. I thought he was going to run away. I didn't know he was just going to pass out. Rats really do it for this guy. <laughs> He's out You know, cold. now that I'm older, it's like it's pretty simple, you know? Although, if I didn't have like kind of a few playthroughs to draw back from over my years, I don't know how quickly just I'd be able to do them now. Which we have a lantern for over here. There we go. Another beautifully pre-rendered cutscene. Did you make that noise? What noise? And did you make this hole in the ship? What hole? Oh, that hole! No, nothing to do with me. Well, it looks like a way out, whoever did it. Now that you mention it, I might have had something to do with making the hole. Okay, I guess we just go and join him. As he looks mournfully out over the horizon. No way am I climbing up there. Tulio, my old friend, you could climb up to the deck from here. Why don't you? But you're such a good climber. You're as agile as a cat. Oh, all right then. Actually, I love them, uh, like the water reflection on the bottom of that plank. Well, that strut, whatever you want to call it. it, looks pretty great. What? What? That made no sense. Like that was suddenly like see-through. That was insane. Oh my god! That was crazy. Okay, now that we know that he can levitate, let's try and work out what we want to do now. So we do is tying a rope to that. So can we unhook this one? And there's Altivo. How do we get back to the thing where we made it flash? Is that it? It's rusted, son. The rope is rusted. Okay, that makes no sense, but whatever. Alright, so we're going to do with these apples. I like how this is this is pretty accurate to the I'll take one of these for film in terms of like geography because like that hatch thing looks the same, the boat pretty much looks the same, like it's got the same kind of sails and stuff. It's pretty cool. I've already I've already got an apple. All right, Tulio, let's get yourself up these stairs. Give it the apple. Just put it in its bum. Here, Altivo. A whole shiny red apple just for you. Well, that was useless. Biscuits? Have a biscuit, Altivo. They don't taste quite as bad as they look. We're just feeding this horse for no reason. Hey, Altivo! That was some throw! Getting the boat hooked through that hatch from here. You ever thought of taking up baseball? What's he doing? He's squatting down. Here, let's untie that rope. 
You can't get into any trouble out here. Now what? Oh, now we have rope. Okay. So if we go down and do... Whatever... I don't know what good tying a rope to that. Oh, so that Miguel can get out. That makes sense. I was thinking it was something to do with, like, the sail. Come on. There you go. And rope. This should help Miguel up. Miguel! Use the rope to climb up! What if I fall? I can always help. Yeah, thanks. I sure hope you know how to tie knots. And the voice actors are pretty good. Because uh, I just bought Emperor's New Groove as well. So if you want to see that, then let me know. Uh, play through that. And they've got like voice actors that aren't them, but they are close enough that it works. Uh, at least Cusco is, like the llama. But um, Patcha is, Patcha is kind of ropey. Uh, pardon the pun, since we've just done a rope thing. But I did quite like... Uh, Emperor Cusco's voice actor. I thought it was pretty good. Say, Miguel. Lifeboat. Try to get the life. Okay, no problem. Oh, okay, apparently he's just really strong. Okay then, so if we take an apple. Altiva would like another one of these. Yeah, so he's, he hasn't had enough yet. It's four apples he's already had. I'm guessing put it on a plank. That'd make sense. We still have a spare sock. What do you think Altiva would do if I put this apple on the plank? Miguel! You're a genius! I like how they have the, um the subtitles in their respective colors. That's pretty cool. Why did you put the apple down there? Al Tebow can't reach it. Exactly. Lateral thinking, my old friend. Just watch. the apple scene. That's a weird cut. Did the provisions make it? Yes and no. Well, there you go. That's part three of my El Dorado playthrough. That's us escaping the ship of Cortez, the evil whatever he is. So I'll join you next time for part four, where we make it to the island and uh, continue our journey on foot. So thanks for watching. Stay awesome. I'll see you guys next time for that. See you then, guys.